Okay, so last time we were looking at simple arithmetic. We were looking at adding, subtracting, um, multiplying and dividing. Programming those sorts of things in Python. Now the problem with division is that often you're left with a decimal answer. Now in real life and programming that's not really very helpful. Sometimes certain situations arise where you don't actually want that decimal answer, you want the remainder um, answer, remainder part of that answer. Now what I mean by that is this. If we think about a factory, a factory might bag up sweets for a local shop. A factory in a day's got, I don't know, 1,238 sweets and each bag is to contain 25 sweets. So if we wanted to find out um, how many bags can be filled, what we might do is 1,238 divided by 25. So that's how many times 25 can fit into that number. So how many bags can we actually fill out of that number of sweets? But the problem is that it's also going to display a fraction of sweets that's left, not the actual number of sweets. So here's the answer, 49.52. Yes, it tells us that 49 bags are going to be filled, but that 0.52 isn't necessarily very helpful. It may be more helpful for a programmer to find out how many sweets are left, the actual number, okay, so the remainder part of that division might be a lot more useful in certain, cir certain circumstances. So let's just have a little look over here. Okay, should have got rid of that from before. Oh well, not a problem. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. If I were to do a normal division I may set up my program like so. So if I was to run this now and I was to say 1238 sweets we've got 25 sweets to go in each bag and our answer is 49 bags are going to be filled with 0.52 left over. So if I want to do some whole number division to find out just the answer to the whole part of the number which is 49 and also with the remainder, so instead of looking at a decimal, finding out exactly how many sweets are left in this case, then what I can do is to use two special operators. The first one, to find the whole number answer, I can use this operator, a double forward slash. So if I were to now run this program, and I was to put in 1238 divided by 25, to see how many times 25 can fit into 1238, and in the case of the sweets to see how many bags can be filled all I get now is 49 okay I don't get that 0.52 I get the whole number part of the division which is fantastic so if I wanted to find out how many sweets are left there's another thing that I can do instead of using the double forward slash to find the whole answer uh, part of whole number part of my answer I could use a percentage sign so now let's see what happens if I were to type in my first number 1238 and put in 25 I get 13 as my answer now what that is is it's exactly how many sweets would be left so the whole number part is 49 that's how many bags are going to be filled and 13 is the remainder part which is how many sweets are left so if I now put this into a proper program tidy it up a little bit I might say whole answer equals number one forward slash forward slash number two and if I want to put down let's say remainder answer number one percentage sign number two so now if I want to print my answers I could say something like this I could say uh, you will need this number of bags and then what I can do is I could put in the answer to whole answer. In fact, instead of saying need, let's say get, you'll get this number of bags. And then here I could say you will have this number of sweets left over. And then I could put the remainder answer. So let's see what happens now. If I do external run, I've got 1,238 sweets. I want to see how many times I can fill up bags um, with 25 sweets in each. So how many times 25 can fit into that number. 
you will get this number of bags, 49, you will have this number of sweets left over, 13. That's much more useful in certain situations when we're programming. Okay, So there we have an example of how we can do our whole number division and also our remainder division.